Hey, what's going on everyone? You know, here at Honey Badger Voodoo Labs, we don't have models like the customer is always right or the best or nothing. No, our motto is we ain't done until something gets blown up, aight? Now, if I know me, and I think I do, at some point, something's gonna get blown up. I can almost guarantee it. But until then, we're going to continue to be curious we're gonna to continue to experiment and we're gonna to continue to learn. So I've put together a couple of videos that kind of go in depth in terms of detail about kayak fishing, fish finder, battery technology. But a lot of that stuff is kind of boring. And some of the solutions require a lot of time and some solid DIY skills. Now this next project is for someone who doesn't like to seal the lead acid batteries and wanna use lithium technology but at the same time, don't have like mad DIY skills. I mean, you don't wanna to have to do a lot of soldering, a, little, a lot of wiring and things of that nature. Okay, before I go any further, a couple of caveats. Um, all the experimentation has only been done with Garmin. I'm a Garmin guy. I don't get paid by Garmin, but it's all I run. And um, you never know. I mean, if you have a Lorance or a Humminbird, the voltages might be different. So I've only done testing with Garmin and I've only done testing with this particular device. This device is really popular. There are thousands out there, but I've only done experimentation with this device. Okay, we're going to start with this guy right here. This is a portable car jump starter. And what it does is its main function is to, if you have a dead battery, you can actually connect this to your battery and jump start your car. But as you can see from the interface, um, it can do a lot of things like charge your phone and it, this particular device will actually output 12 volts, okay? 12 volts. Now again, I can't guarantee that other you know, portable jump starters are going to output 12V. I'm going to leave links for all these devices in the description. I wanna be transparent. Um, if you follow the link and click through and purchase, it doesn't cost you anything more, but I do get a little bit of a commission that way. So um, I just wanna be honest. Okay, let's go back to these specs. In terms of capacity, this thing claims 18 amp hours. Now, I wouldn't put a lot of faith in that number and um, because many of these companies have a tendency to fudge their numbers. But a little bit later, we're gonna put this device to the test in real world situations. In terms of weight, this battery is based off of lithium technology, so it's gonna be way lighter than any sealed lead acid battery. So this thing weighs in at one pound and a little under six ounces. And besides the weight, lithium technology offers many advantages over conventional batteries. But you can check out one of my lengthy videos if you want to get into it. Okay, on to the assembly. As it ships, it comes with this, these cables. And this little thingamajig keeps the pack from feeding 12V directly. So this has to be replaced. Fortunately, this little blue plug here is a common part. It's called EC5. And so... It plugs in like that and so what you have to do is you have to purchase these components here and so the EC5 end connects to the battery pack and then the wires connect to this guy okay so you buy one of these and then you cut it in half and then one end gets soldered or taped or whatever to here and then the other end goes to your fish finder power cable. And really, that's about all there is to it. Now, if you wanna house everything in a waterproof case, and I think you should, um, there's a little more work, but I'll detail it. So looking at the picture, this tough plastic housing is this guy. And again, I'll leave uh, links to every one of these items, okay? And it's the uh, cube, the small model, and then the this little stainless little ring or whatever you want to call it keeps it waterproof and that is this guy and then finally this connector here is a waterproof connector so obviously one end goes into the power pack and then the other end has a um, female connector i guess and then that goes to the power cable of your fish finder and that is this part and so what happens is this piece right here goes to your power pack. 
this piece connects to your fish finder power cable and then this collar will screw onto here making it waterproof and I like this system and if you really want to do it like me what you do is you order a spool of 25 pound fishing line and a meat hook and the cops should be at your door within an hour or two <laughs> no seriously um i plan to use this for um, a kayak gaff rather than the long unwieldy ones i'm gonna have to test it i'll let you know so how does it perform in the real world well let's find out i run a garmin echo map 64 cv and typically what I'll do is I'll split the screen, left hand side navigation, right hand side the traditional 2D sonar. And usually I'll have the screen brightness set at 80% and that's plenty bright enough even in direct sunlight. So let's check it out. So uh, let's see, a little over two hours in and voltage reads 11.6 so not bad, not bad. Here I'm about 4 hours in and the voltage is reading 11.1, .1, so still very good. Okay, so battery holding up well, I mean, uh, what, 5 hours in, showing 10.9 volts, so yeah, keeper. So we came in at around the 5 hour mark, but judging from the rate of discharge, I'm gonna guess that this thing is good for at least 8 hours and that should be plenty good enough for most people. When I went to recharge the battery pack, it showed 55% capacity, so yeah, a good number. So the final verdict is, I like it. Um, it is Honey Badger Voodoo approved. Some of the advantages are, it's going to be much lighter than the conventional battery. It's going to be more versatile because of all the different ports. And lithium batteries are going to last much longer. Again, not on the particular day, but over the lifespan of the battery, the lithium types are going to last much longer. So you pay a little bit up front, but I think you make that up on the back end. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. As always, thank you for dropping by. I appreciate you. Get out there and have fun, be safe, and we will see you soon. Bye for now.